You're now listening to episode 83 of Signed In, an Xbox 360 podcast, recorded on December 17th, 2011. Find us online at signedinpodcast.com. I'm Jeremy Superpro33. I'm Craig Prop Dresser. And I'm Sean Shonix. How is everybody? Cheery. 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 It yeah. is that time of the year. <laughs> That's right. Yep. In, in case I forget. Says, I'm con- contractually obligated to be cheery this time of the year. <laughs> you don't sign like with who? Uh, you don't want to know. The devil? You Did don't you want sign to know. a contract with the devil again? You don't he, want to know just, what part of that do I, you I don't want to know because he said it. Mm. All right. Yeah. I don't make you guys sign a contract. So. No, we're not. No. We're not contractually obligated here at all. No. No. Okay. You just make up the rules as we go. That's Wait, correct. I can go. <laughs> I make, You can't leave. Oh, okay. No, see, then he'll change the rules on you. <laughs> if there's a contract, you'd have to stick to it. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, we are a couple weeks away from the holidays, so uh, right. in case I forget at the end, happy holidays to everybody out there. Happy holidays. Uh, so it'll be a week away, I guess, mm-hmm. won't it? Oh, geez. Yikes. Oh, geez. Two weeks from the holidays. Because we got <laughs> a couple coming with up. Z there? Z. Of okay. course. Nice. Three Zs. <laughs> Z. Because you're going to fall asleep after. D A Z E. Holidays. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. I'm hip. Mm hmm. So, uh, what. <laughs> What do we got this time around, gentlemen? Anybody? Not a lot. Not a lot. Not there's, a lot yeah. there's not a lot going on at the end of the year here. No. So uh, we're going to do what we can. It might be a shorter show, but you know how we I'm not babble on here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I've, been, I've actually been catching up a lot on a lot of the indie games. So, you know, I think I mentioned on the last show that yes. I had this huge stack of like indie games that I had trials for. but mm-hmm. I hadn't, yeah. And so I was going through and either purchasing them or deleting them. And now, so now that's transformed into a huge stack of indie games that I've never finished. <laughs> and so uh, I've been going through and, and kind of completing some of those. So that's taken quite a bit of my time. Because uh, really, the only things I have this week are the two XBLA offerings that have come out since mm-hmm. our last full episode, which okay. were uh, Apples to Apples and Joe Danger, the something edition. Oh, special. Uh, special. Special edition. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more flashy than that. <laughs> I, I was like, special edition? No, that doesn't sound you right. Put that it sounds all, too lame. You could put it in all caps. <laughs> true. If that helps. True. True. <laughs> true. And bold. I, I think it is officially uh, Joe Danger say. Uh, no, no, that's not it. <laughs> that's, that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Uh, what about you, uh, Sean? I uh, got a couple of indie games in and uh, some uh, Pinball FX 2, that is. Just a couple of Marvel tables came out. <laughs> Glad you then, let us know that you didn't go back to the first yeah, one. Yeah, I went back to the first one. I wanted to try it out. <laughs> He's going old school. And then I finally got a chance to play WWE 12. Nice. nice. Dub Dub 12. Can't wait E-12. to hear about it. Yeah. I, also I, can't, I can't wait to hear how he describes his wrestler. <laughs> I can't either. It's a lot like me. <laughs> well, then I don't necessarily want to hear it. Uh, I also played some WWE 12 and some Pinball FX 2. You weren't over at my house, though. I did not. No. We did this solely on our own. And didn't play at all against each other. That's correct. And, yeah. No. We were not. just damaging my first day you know, top scores. I was well, on, you know, I'm like, awesome, head of the board on FX. <laughs> and then he just goes in and crushes them, my spirit. And then move on. Spirit. Play one game, destroy you, and then move on to the next table. <laughs> Except for one. Like, we'll talk about it. Okay. Whatever. Settle down. Oh, you're giving me that one? Settle down. Thank you. <laughs> I'm letting you have it for now. I don't. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and then I got a couple indie games. Um, and I think at the top, we're going to probably talk about some of the changes to the yeah. dashboard, too, that came uh, up yes. uh, in the last couple of weeks. That. So yep. mm-hmm. uh, A lot of differences there. And thanks to everybody who checked out our Batman uh, Arkham City private chat. That yeah. came out last week, if you weren't aware. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're hearing this for the first time, you can go and check it out now. Well, you're probably like, why the fuck do I have two episodes? That's true. <laughs> they just it, showed it up. downloaded when you went for this one. And you're, maybe you're like, shut up, dude. I don't play that game, so I don't need to hear you talk about it. <laughs> And I'm like, sorry, but I just want to let you know it's there. Or maybe they're like, oh, OMG, shut up. I don't like listening to you. So right. why am I listening to your podcast right now? Exactly. Oh, my God, I'm having a revelation. I think <laughs> I think I've been th- wasting my life here. And we're doing good. I th- I don't know what's going on. We're doing good for people. Yeah. Heads are we exploding have. all over the world right now. I'm pretty sure that the majority of the people that listen to us don't like us. It's like that old like Howard Stern private parts thing when in the movie when he talks about like more people that hate him listen to the show mm-hmm. because they hate him. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they want to hear what he says. Mm-hmm. I think that's what people look for us. They listen and they go, this idiot doesn't even know how to play Modern Warfare. 
<laughs> You're right. I'm writing that guy. You were talking about me, <laughs> You're right? You're such a noob. I'm the idiot, right? No, me. I thought, oh. I only talk I don't about me. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about some uh, export. Uh, export. export. <laughs> the dashboard on the Xbox being updated um, in the last couple of weeks here. Yes. And it's been pretty much overhauled. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, quite yeah, a different yeah. look to it. Uh, what do you guys think of it initially here? It reminds me a lot more of like the Zune, mm -hmm. the way the Zune set up, and actually it reminds me a lot more of how the PS3 is set up and yeah. the PSP have been set up. Just that sort of horizontal uh, line across for, the top, yeah. for the categories. Mm -hmm. um, not bad, uh, you know. I think I particularly like it because I have a Connect, and so yep. the the new Connect functions are very very nice. Yeah, um, and being able to just kind of control things getting into stuff like netflix is maybe a little more embedded but it's not like a, mm -hmm. a huge chore or anything like that mm -hmm. but i don't know i i don't i'm hearing obviously the complaints from everybody is all the sure. ad advertisements that's on it i, I barely I noticed i guess them. i don't see that because there were ads before on on all the blades there were uh, i yeah. think you just had to like go over a couple to like so the one that you were yeah. basically in front of your face now yeah. it's like you have everything in front of your face right so like yeah. the entire length of that right, blade right so you see it right away instead of having to page over a couple yeah. And it's larger than the rest. Generally. It is. And and I don't I guess I don't care. I mean the little boxes on the side are the quick play and the like play whatever yeah. you have now. That that's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. It's it's fine. I, I don't really have an issue with the advertisement. And and to be honest with you, I don't mind the big ad in the middle that's highlighting any of the games that they're cycling through exactly. the one that cycle through the four. Yeah. Because I I mean Advertising is good for any of those developers of those mm -hmm. like arcade mm -hmm. games, indie games, yeah. anything that's getting spotlight on there. So yep. um, I understand the need for that stuff and that it helps those people out. So whatever. I mean, because it doesn't right. affect me in my playing at all. Yeah. You mentioned the thing about the Netflix, though, and that, that's one of the things that all the new apps that are on there. Um, yeah. That we see a lot of new stuff. And, I, I've been, and I've been very used to Netflix and yeah. to Last FM, and uh, and now that now that there's this whole new crop of apps coming out, it's yeah. very obvious that they are truly apps. They're not things that are being developed by Microsoft. Yeah. Like I kind of <laughs> get into the feeling of. Yeah. But, but yeah. Anyway, so what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say I hate how the new Netflix is set up. Like mm -hmm. I. I don't like the presentation of it. I, I think that there are some odd choices. I don't understand when you're watching episodes of television, mm -hmm. like why it goes into the one automatically when you look at it instead of being able to select multiple episodes, like without having to start playing one. Yeah. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. Um, it also, like, I seem that you couldn't skip ahead. Yeah. What's up with that? It skips to the very, it just skips all the way through. You can fast forward, but you, can you can't skip, skip like five you know, minutes or whatever. They had yeah. nerfed that la uh, a while back anyway. Did they? Because you used to just be able to like rapid skip through chapters, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but now, but then it switched over to kind of doing uh, uh, one skip and then you have to wait for it to buffer completely mm -hmm. and before you can do another skip. And so I'm guessing it's a way, it, it has to do with how they're allowing the stuff to stream through yeah. would be my guess. So what am I supposed to do but, if I just want to get to the naked parts? Then just fast forward it. Basically, you go Xbox. But you can go really fast. Naked parts. <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> they add that because that'd be brilliant. I do. I probably do, sell a lot more connects. I do like with the television stuff that it offers you the opportunity to go right to the next episode because that is something you can get on their yeah. website, but hasn't been uh, there before. And it's not like a huge deal to go back out and and go to the next episode, but that's right. It's a nice little I, feature. That was like the one thing I liked about the, the little addition to Netflix. Uh, I you know I got to kind of. At first, I was a little thrown off by the play and it starting, but yeah, I like how it's just there next because mm -hmm. then I can just play it. I I, I like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's a nice, just just simple little addition. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of fun with all that new stuff that's on there. The, I, I like how you can rate while you're watching the, yep. the show and all that. I stuff do like too. that, and I like that it shows more information that pops up on the yeah. bottom yes. that you can like bring up at any time. Mm -hmm. um, it's just those other kind of weird changes, and I'm sure I'll get used to them. And I'll yeah. never, you yeah. know, yeah. six months from now, I won't even remember that that was the case. Right. Exactly, so it'll be no different. Uh, the YouTube app i think is awesome yeah i think that is it's really nice cool. i don't use youtube very much so i'm like i don't know if i can really assess this but it, yeah it works pretty well i mean I, I tried it out for a bit i guess for me but like my immediate response is that my wife works at a place where she can't look at youtube in the day right uh because she's like on dial up right right because yeah. she, she it's like 1997 where she works so <laughs> uh so 
I always love going back in time. So I have to like wait till I'm home to show her stuff because all during my work day, I'm not doing work. I'm looking at YouTube shit. So, uh, <laughs> but you know, with being able to be signed in or you know uh, subscribed or yeah. have your your sign in yeah. option, mm -hmm. you can like favorite things, and right. then I like, can go home and pop on the Xbox and go look. Here's like four things I want to show you. That yeah. wasn't working awesome. today. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so that's been handy. Um, and then viewing my own stuff that I have on there, like yeah. being able to see them on a full size screen in mm -hmm. HD and in the surround sound has been kind of awesome. I was mm -hmm. listening to the first signed in episode on YouTube. The first uh, signed in episode yeah. on YouTube? Um, what's Why his, is it on there? In Raider? Yeah. I believe that's his uh, I'm suing over him. on the forum. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. It's on there. The, first, the first, episode? first episode? Yeah. Why would you do you that? You guys are awesome. No, it's that's terrible. That's all I gotta say. Nobody should listen to that. <laughs> Don't even go find it. <laughs> I take it back. I was just talking last week how we should I, find out how we can lock that in a vault somewhere and I'm, <laughs> delete it. I'm lying. That didn't happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm suing him. Don't even search. Cease and desist <laughs> is forthcoming. But anyway, I love the app. You know, I love that it's on there. Yeah. It, it's just a neat little thing mm -hmm. you can jump in and mess around And its with. function is very nice. I mean, yeah. the, the way that it works is very, very nice. I did also download the Sci-Fi yeah. app, so actually. Did I. And, uh, I haven't checked that one out. But I heard it's not. very good. disappointing. Yeah. Really? Is it? Well, it's just clips, right? Well, you can watch some of their web stuff. Yeah. And actually, the Mercury Men is a pretty awesome That's series. That's what I was wanting to watch. Uh, so the web stuff is pretty cool. But yeah, otherwise, it's just clips. Like, And the way that it functions is very bizarre. So like, even with like in like the Mercury Men, where you can watch all the episodes. Mm -hmm. So then you go over to Episodes. And you know, if it's past the first five, you have to show all. And then you select the episode you want. And then it brings you back to the beginning page huh <laughs> and then it says it says you know uh it, then you have to kind of go down and choose play and then play it from there hmm. it, which is doesn't sound like a big deal when i'm describing it but it's very confusing because you know it brings you to a new page but then it's the whole same setup and so i got very confused i'm like did i do something wrong did i get <laughs> kicked back to the huh. beginning or something i don't know it was very strange but i thought it was neat that you could share off of that you can share well, on. that seems to be their big function yeah and <laughs> that's that like the, there first and that's the only yeah and i i was wondering about like yeah. that's the only thing that they had on there so hmm. share these terrible clips yeah yeah <laughs> The the we were talking about on the way down to that iHeartRadio, which yep. I don't use online currently, but you said you use it. The I use it on my phone. On your phone. Yep, yep. And that is awesome. Yeah. I love that thing. I, I just cool. started messing around with it last night, and I'm I'm a big sucker for being able to listen to things in other areas. Mm -hmm. And I, I wish that it operated. I mean, it's the same argument we had with the last FM. I wish you could run it and then go do something yeah i kind of hate that you can't sure. like do that and then go play pinball exactly and like listen to some radio stations right right but uh i think that it's still really well done and kind of mm. crazy yeah i like awesome to have it on there i wish there was some connectivity between the twitter app and the youtube app so that you could yeah finally, finally use links and twitter on xbox yeah to easily do some of that stuff uh -huh. yeah that'd be and, and facebook even uh -huh. like any either of those two integrated oh yeah that's nice. right i forgot facebook <laughs> some of us still use facebook because i don't use it right so it's still relevant to some uh <laughs> to i don't some. know about relevant <laughs> it's irrelevant do you guys mess around with the bing, the, the search function at all the yeah. Bing? yeah yeah i don't understand i still don't understand the need for that it's yeah i mean it's not huge I, I was wondering if it was going to access any of the apps like YouTube or stuff like mm -hmm. that, but no, it's primarily Zune. Uh, that it's although it does look at Netflix, doesn't it? Yep. So, hmm. Well, maybe it can extend then, because if it could extend to some of those other apps like YouTube, then that would be a great function. Yeah, I'm uh, wondering. I, I I enjoyed it because I was I uh, you know a quick. I just typed in Radiant Games mm -hmm. or it said Radiant Games. There you go. And then you know <laughs> there See, that's, they all. That's a key. And then there they all are, <laughs> and it's like. Now I don't have to go over to my games. No, that's true. And go through all of them or try to sort them out. It's just boom, there they are, and I can play it from there. If you or, can do that, or download uh, if a you game. can speak it and say it, that's easier. But yeah. if you have to spell it out, like I would, because I don't, I'm not playing with my Connect. That's in my other Xbox. Yeah. I, do you I have can't. a Do you have a type pad though? Don't you? I do have a type pad, oh. but I don't ever put it on my controller because it kind of annoys me when I'm not using it. Yeah. You can take um, it back off. Regardless, <laughs> you're a huge baby. Regardless, <laughs> that's correct. Regardless, it's easier for me. I found mm -hmm. to go into my games and find it there sure. which i loved by the way when i went in there and the way that they have them organized now and yeah the covers. and like when in, in particular radiant games and i went to it and it's mm -hmm. like all of them were filling the screen yeah that yeah. was awesome yeah i love that shot and then just sort them yeah and having the yeah i love the just the the cover art i think that's fantastic them side by side like that and mm -hmm. just i i like the setup i love the use of the left and right bumper buttons to go across the top yeah because i never liked having to scroll up 
Mm-hmm. Like click, 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 and I could just go or go Xbox videos. <laughs> That's usually <laughs> what happens. Actually, well, the bumper buttons would jump with that stuff before too. Well, they, I, it's the when you would, it felt like it was going past what I needed. Oh, okay. Like it would go up too much, and I'd have to scroll back one down the, or something like they that. They would, they would only go to what the spotlight channel before. I think so. I think okay. Yeah, it was like a fast. Yep. Now, one thing I, I I miss is having the the friends list right there. Yeah, I agree um, with you because you just get that little slight three people. Yeah, I don't friends like that list. either. It's like because that would, that used to be one of the first things that I would do is I'd scroll down to the friends list and see who was on uh, mm-hmm. and what they're doing. Oh, I don't do that though because I don't care but, about anybody else. But... Well, then why the hell do you care? Because <laughs> I, I like the presentation of it. Oh, <laughs> and it's because, your aesthetics. And because if I have like a an <laughs> avatar item. Yeah, I don't see it popping up unless I go into my particular person, and then I'm oh, like, really? "Why did anybody spend any money on those now?" That was the next thing I was going to say because that was the one thing I'm fucking pissed about about this. Oh. It doesn't just pop up. You uh-uh. have to go into yourself and you like, "Why am I going to look at myself?" You have to click on it each character to see what they got. I see. Yeah, but when you're all just standing there not doing that. anything, everybody's yawning or counting sheep <laughs> right. or carrying a teddy bear. It's like, give me my fucking props. Well, Don't give me sleeping. a teddy bear. I know, I know, but Sean, I'm just I'll saying. Your props. No, nobody did anything while they were sleeping. I, I remember. I know that, but that's what I'm trying to say is like, if they <laughs> if they can do that while you're sleeping, why add that little sleeping thing in there when you actually have a prop that can show up and show me dancing? Because I'm awake, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, oh, oh well. <laughs> You know how I feel wait, wait, about wait. my avatars. Yeah. Yeah. My thing is I never looked at, I never really use that to uh search for friends or anything like you were saying. I did I do everything still by the guide button. Yeah. Like I do that menu mm-hmm. for everything. Mm-hmm. Like when I want to see friends or I want to see messages, I hit that instantly when I log on and just yeah. look at stuff there. Mm-hmm. So that doesn't change too much for me, but like it, it was because of the avatar stuff that you can't see people's stuff now and I'm like, Well, why are people buying it then? Yeah. It seems a little odd. I haven't bought any props since. Yeah. Since since in the last two weeks way to go buddy hey there's been some cool ones <laughs> jerk so yeah i don't know Transformers. It's, it's just odd it's gonna take a while to get used to yeah um but i'm yeah. already falling into you know like i said in a couple months we won't even know the difference mm-hmm. anymore yep. we won't remember what the other thing looked like i really like it i i think i think it helps that we're all connect users too well yeah. two of us at partially, least yeah. yeah partial users two and a half because i think it really two utilizes users. that so i love that show and it looks a lot like <laughs> the, the the microsoft phone their phone yeah, yeah, yeah i'm right. sure that's i mean that the setup has a really yeah. uh, same you know same like vibe that, to it i like that i can use voice commands to turn it off Oh yeah. Well, because you know, most most of the time when I use voice commands is when I'm watching Netflix and the the controller turns itself off, or nope. I left it somewhere else. And so, you know, that's <laughs> true. Xbox. Having having to turn on the controller just to turn off the Xbox <laughs> is kind of like, well, I guess I could walk over to the Xbox too. But, but then, well, then you got to walk all the way. Nobody's hitting the walk. Then you got to walk all the way back to the you know go to your room or something. No, come that's, on, that's ridiculous. That's counterproductive. <laughs> it's like, well, that's like three extra feet. Why can't my TV turn well, on? It's, it's very helpful for me, like because. Uh, a lot of times I'll watch Netflix or have Netflix playing while I'm in the kitchen. And so I can just kind of shout to the Xbox to do things yeah. instead of having to carry a controller in there and, you know, possibly sure. drop it in the sink like nope. I, I've nearly done before. Awesome. <laughs> or you leave it there and then you go back to the couch. Yeah, like, Fuck. yeah exactly. Yeah, I don't have to trail trail <sighs> controllers around the house like I have. <laughs> like that? Yes. <laughs> Precisely. Like the Napoleon. <laughs> all right. Anything else on the, the new Napoleon. dash? Have we covered it all? Yes, we covered everything. Everything. I don't think there's anything we didn't cover. I, I just want to I want to say if, 100%. If, if you got Hulu Plus, just watch Community. That's all I got to say. I'm done. It is on there now. I know, and I love it. Everybody should watch it. I've, I loved it before, but it's, get caught up over the holidays it's, while the, while they're off the schedule. Yeah, and then if, when they come back eventually, because they will, they better. Yes, I'm burn the place. They down. better because well, we'll burn every place down. <laughs> then you can watch it live, and then you can save the show and feel like you did something. Will you burn down Mars? You can no. You can finally feel like you did something with your miserable life. You saved community. That's awesome. Right? With my mu- Oh, no, you're talking just to me. I'm talking to people at home. Oh, okay. Whew. The general you there, okay. Sean. God. I do have a miserable <laughs> life, but it does, it, does it show? Uh, yes. <laughs> Darn it. It does show. <laughs> it shows through your voice, actually. Everybody oh, at home knows. They're like, uh, okay. 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 <laughs> And HBO Go is hopefully coming to that, and hopefully Direct mm-hmm. TV is not going to block me out of it because uh, that's on the table, I guess, as a potential possibility. Uh, it'd be awesome if they didn't because I would love to be able to stream that stuff on there too. That'd be sweet. So we'll find out. That you will. Indie yeah. games. Indie Do games. Should we move on? That's right. Sure. All right. 
Who's going to start? I'll kick it off. Do it. With Spartans and Candyland. Sold for 240 Spartans. points by Markland Games. Uh, it's a twin stick shooter. Over the top, just your normal, everyday twin stick shooter. But you're uh, a Spartan, and you drop into Candyland, and you're being attacked by bears that shoot hearts at you. <laughs> and then there's a giant bears that chase after you. And there's, like, ice cream cones you got to get around. Because I don't know, like, all this food dropped on this place. Because, well, it is Candyland, but it looks like it actually fell on it. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with the game. You pick up power-ups as you go along. Uh-huh. It's, it's one to four players local. Um, but, yeah, it's I, I had a little fun. I, I had a fun time with it. I picked some weird, uh, this weird Spartan because I, I don't know. I didn't look at the, the rest of them because he was all like, uh, the, he looked like death. Okay. And he, his powers, he had a couple different, you have these special abilities that you use your triggers with. Mm-hmm. And his were like skulls and stuff and a sc- scream or something. So I was wondering if those changed with different Spartans, but I didn't try it out Probably. because I was having fun with this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I liked it for 240, 240 points. Um, totally, you know, check it out, but it's another twin stick, you know, over the top zombies, you know, not zombies, but killer bears. <laughs> killer bears. Sometimes I was like, are those bears attacking you? I'm like, yeah, they're shooting. Cause she goes, there's a heart. Grab it. I'm like, no, don't grab it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't grab the heart. And I think that's really cool about it. Cause that was like my first, like, I'm like, oh, heart. And it hit me and I'm like, why did it take damage? <laughs> it's the bears that shoot them at me. So very cool. It's worth checking out. Awesome. Uh, I checked out some Neon Cat Adventure. Anybody yeah. else yes. in for the Adventure. for the Neon Cat Adventure? Yes, I, I, I tried it out. All right, twenty one see it. Twenty one Street Games, uh, who you may remember from Techno Cat Adventure. Kitten. Yes. I'm sorry, Techno Kitten Adventure. I just say cat. <laughs> you did. It's my game of forever. <laughs> Why did I get it wrong? Technical Kid Adventure. 240 points. It is $3, uh, and it is crazy. Yeah. Uh, it's not nearly... It seems a little more streamlined than uh, Technical Kid Adventure mm-hmm. um, as far as... I was thinking that just from the screenshots. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's cleaned up a little bit. I mean, it's still nuts, though. Right. Um, but it's not as like overpowering audio-wise. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And it is... Still st- side scrolling, but it's more of a platformer side scroller. No, oh, really. Where you're jumping over objects and jumping oh, over okay. things. You're not floating and trying to like stay in the air. I see. Um, and you're collecting power ups as you go along and different items, mm-hmm. uh, and you're trying to increase your score by picking up things and avoiding, you know, getting taking damage. Uh, and you pick up these different pills that change the effects on the screen. Oh, yeah, so man. like something gets yeah, exactly. So it'll reverse like where you're walking on the ceiling. It'll like do this big fuzzy hazy thing on the screen and screw you up that way. So it still has ways to try and screw up your vision, yeah, and, and totally wreck your gameplay. But then you got to jump into toasters and get shot out, uh, a la the Miss Explosion yeah, Man cannons. F, F that. that, that kind of style. That's where I ended that game. And you're still in the time limit because the side scroller, yeah. you know, so it's still going. So you just have to do it quickly. Yeah. Uh, but there's tons of different characters you can choose from, and I think they have a couple different modes you can play. I think I was a waffle cat. <laughs> there is that. I don't remember what the official name of that is, but the, it is there. And then there's that one that's the taco dog. Yes. It's a dog with a taco body, <laughs> yes. which is awesome. <laughs> He's hilarious He's looking. Cute looking. Uh, so check it out. It's nuts. Uh, it's crazy. I think it's been on uh, apps for a while now, like iPhones and things oh, like that. Okay, I think sure. it's been around there for a while now, um, if I remember correctly. So this is just the indie games version of it. But Yeah, I, I, I kept my finger on the green button trying to think that that would keep him afloat. <laughs> and then that wasn't working. It was making him jump. And then they, because that was the thing, you make it to these different sections and then it changes up the gameplay. Like, you yeah. have to jump to hit the ceiling or once you just try to jump over larger. I, I, you know, it was fun, but then once I got to those toasters, man. It was a little too much. I was just like, I can't do it. And I was like, I can't. <laughs> I, it, I get the game, just like the Techno Kid Adventure mm-hmm. game, got me all like, it freaks me out. Yeah. It gets me all in pain. Like, I get all nervous and. Well, they do their best, too, to make sure you get panicked on this yeah, one, too. Like, so. Here you go. Just not with the music, at least, so that's good. <laughs> Although it still is pretty loud. Yeah. I had it turned way down, and it was still, like, yeah. blaring. So I don't know what the Very colorful. Yeah. Yes. So there you go. Check it out. Um, iZombie. Yes. 80 points from Awesome Game Stew. I'm assuming that's Studios, but it, is yes. studio. it was cut off. So I, <laughs> okay. I didn't know. Maybe it was Awesome Game Stew. <laughs> stew. I would, way to go, Stew. I would, I would eat it. That is but, Studio. Uh, <laughs> so it's it's a over the top uh, you're this zombie you get to play the zombie i zombie i guess that's why they called it that but mm-hmm. um and you can make zombies and then you can control those zombies yes and or you can have them wait for you or follow you or attack other humans and some of the other humans have guns some of the other humans run away from you i like the look of it i thought it was done really well the music was a little 
boring. I kind of like the music. Really? Yeah, it wasn't um, what I would expect. Yeah. It's kind of like really low key. I liked it actually. Cool. Uh, but I, I like the style. I like the idea that you're playing a lone zombie who's like attempt, uh, essentially just trying to turn other people into zombies and not die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it almost works like a puzzler where they have people going on a set path. The The, the regular civilians will run from you and so yeah. you kind of just have to corner them like sheep. Right. <laughs> uh, and so once you get by them, you convert them into zombies mm-hmm. and then you can, I think with the A button, you have them attack a, a is attacks so you send them off and they yeah. basically go after somebody the closest at, person to them x they'll follow you so you yeah. have like this pack and then with b they'll stay where they're at yeah, they, you, can, yeah. you can hold them there huh. so you can basically chase chase people down or i would send them after people and they would run away and then i would cut them off at the pass which mm-hmm. is awesome yeah uh, but then you eventually get into the military guys who have guns and they're on their routes and that becomes like the puzzler yeah where yeah. you got to kind of use the buildings to because because you're going around uh like a town setting or like with buildings so you can kind of like stay on the side of them and wait for the guy to come down because mm-hmm. they'll shoot at you and kill you pretty quickly pretty quickly yeah. because when you take damage it also slows you down um so they'll kill your guys and so I, a couple times i like had to kill a couple of the guys and send those guys in yeah so that they would get shot and then i would run in behind them, yeah you, know, you like, go like or make a circle guy. around them yeah yeah <laughs> so it's pretty well done i i had a lot of fun with it like i said it works like a puzzler almost where you got to figure out like yep. the, the most advantageous way to take uh-huh. them out in uh-huh. the area um but it was really clean looking it was really mm, smooth yeah. and like i said the music wasn't what i would expect from something like that and it was almost like kind of classical in parts i uh, thought it had a it very weird. it had a very like you know old nintendo like type vibe yeah. to it which was cool but uh it just i guess i wasn't i wasn't ready for it it just didn't seem like the right yeah it was uh, i thought it was yeah. fun but so, uh i recommend it i think 80 points it was yeah. i had a lot of fun with it so totally yeah nice did anybody else try let's get fiscal no (laughs) i'm ready to hear about it though i have no idea what's going on in this game okay let's get fiscal uh like you're working at a accountant accountant office or something let me give you the the makers of the name i was just gonna let you figure it out on your own (sighs) never mind you you never learn i know it comes from it comes from baller industries ball and it is that's a good start right there exactly how can you go wrong (laughs) and it is 80 points um so it is a dollar the gameplay itself operates um you basically get this still framed like cartoon Uh uh like comic book style uh, but it does have voice act, uh, voice narration oh. in it, so there is voice acting, mm-hmm. um, and it is adult because it does pop up a warning at the beginning that there is drug reference and swearing in the game, so oh. to let you know ahead nice. of time, which. It has come to my the, like. I wasn't surprised. Baller Industries was giving me something with some swearing and some like high level, you know, adult themes. Well, one of the gallery picks is like two ninjas sitting in a hot tub yeah. with naked ladies. Correct. Or I think they're ninjas. I don't know what they are. I don't know. They're at you... some club. Yeah. You have to fight them. I know. So you you go through and you're an accountant and your boss sends you down to this place, this club, to like do an audit. Okay. Which you eat something on the way down there, like some kind of pie thing, and it was like I think there's like reference to the fact that it's drug laced or something. Uh-huh. And then you enter into this basically attack session where you it's a side scroller like final fight. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where the guys come in from the screens mm-hmm. and you, you beat them up and you have your moves mm-hmm. and you basically just punch so it's just moving and punching, but then there's also uh, combos you can do. Mm-hmm. So if you hit like forward twice and then hit the punch, you do like this big thing where you drill over uh-huh. and like fly through the air and like knock everybody out. And nice. if you're close enough, you can throw them. Uh, so totally Final Fight style, yeah. where you come in at an angle and then toss them at everybody. <laughs> and everybody's got their names and the life bars show up and it beats them down. And oh, it's man. just the same as that game. And it's, I mean, it's. It's really well done in that aspect. It is very old school feeling that way. <laughs> but I have no idea what's going on with the story. Because you beat up everybody. You get to those guys that are in the hot tub at the end. Yeah. And then you have to do this boss fight where they like trans- they like they teleport around and then they shoot beams at you out of their eyes. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> so then you, you do your audit there and you take That's it back awesome. to your boss and he yells at you about something. And then you have to go take a bunch of things down to a homeless shelter. And I'm assuming that you're going to beat up people there too. So I don't know what's going on with the game, but it is interesting at least. And I recommend checking it out because the gameplay part of it, where you're doing the, basically the final fight type stuff uh-huh. uh, was well done and it was handled well. And I liked that there was combos. Cool. Like you could do these uppercuts and like a big guile kick where he'd like flip back and like mm-hmm. kicked everybody. Uh, so I, I recommend at least taking a look at it. It looks silly. I, I looked at silly it. Silly games. I should have just, See, and I was in when it was Let's Get Fiscal. I like the pun. <laughs> yeah. I think it's funny. <laughs> you know me in a pun. I normally hate the puns. That's true. But I liked it on that one for some reason. I think because fiscal was funny. <laughs> it's a funny word anyway. I thought it said fecal, but... <laughs> 
Let's get fecal. At first. That's a terrible beginning. A qu- quick glance. Come on. I can read. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> when he wants to. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Anything else? That's it for Indy for me. Nothing for you, Craig? No. Nope. Nothing new this week? No. Is that a first time ever? No, it was wow. a couple episodes ago. You're on a yeah, bad well, trend. I was by myself. I do have one more. <laughs> He's not even listening to I know, us. I'm sorry. <laughs> he too. When do I ever? <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> Firefly Vegas. Um, yeah. This comes from Rock Mint. It is 240 points, so it's $3. It's essentially um, your Geometry War style game, twin mm-hmm. six shooter. Mm-hmm. Um, it is very neon heavy. Um, lots of little pixels flying everywhere. Uh, and you're shooting other ships that are brightly colored neon shapes Mm -hmm. uh i'm sure you've heard it before uh but it's interesting and it's well done and i like the music it is very heavy on the like techno side music and it's like booming pretty heavy Mm -hmm. um there was a couple different elements though where uh when you kill the enemies there's these things that they drop off and i i really couldn't figure out what those things do i can't remember what they're called right now uh but power-ups? No, they're not power-ups, and they weren't giving me score either. They were just oh. little, like, bright light things that... Health? No, it wasn't, because you would just have the one... If you get hit, you die. Oh, okay. Um, so it's basically score-based, and I don't know what they were doing. Maybe the more you collected, the more... Or the quicker, like, put up other power-up options as far as, like, l- laying them in the level. Because you had to mm-hmm. go over uh, letters and numbers and things to increase your weapons and capabilities Hmm. and things like that so Mm -hmm. i don't know if that increased the occurrence of those i didn't really know what those did but when you stop shooting they would all suck into you never will you never will so it you can go around and collect them or you can not shoot and they all just basically suck into you uh so it almost rewards you at that point it was easier to not keep shooting all the time which was a nice little mechanic i thought because in those games Mm -hmm. I tend to just fly around and shoot nonstop. Right, right. So it was a neat little twist on that. Mm -hmm. Um, There was a couple different gameplay modes that it offers. It has a time limit and then survival. So the survival is just you have a number of lives. You go for as long as you can. Time limit is a certain number amount of time. And then when that time is done, that's the highest score that you could get in that time frame. Mm -hmm. They also offered retro, which is just a normal style twin stick shooter gameplay. And then they offered uh, dynamic, which is more of an like expert style. I think they listed as. Okay. And that sucked. It was it didn't it was hard because it's a little more pulled out. Uh-huh. Whereas the normal retro style was kind of like a Geometry Wars where you could move the screen, the edges weren't the entire screen, you could move a little bit and yeah. then get to the edge. This one was pulled out more where you kind of almost saw I wouldn't say the whole screen, but it was a little bit more you could see of the of the area that you're playing in. Yeah. But you still twin stick shootered around but you didn't move. You basically, the left stick turned you, rotated you, the right stick shot, mm-hmm. and then you had to use the trigger button to propel yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that was making me insane because it was spinning my screen every time I would turn around, like rotate. Mm-hmm. It almost felt like the screen was spinning. Yeah. And then you'd have to trigger it to like power off. And that became like a crazy mess for me. Hmm. I couldn't concentrate at all on that. So it's an interesting concept of being able to control yourself or having to, you know, steer yeah. and fire and like boost but it was a little too much for my mm-hmm. my simple mind <laughs> and then the only other thing i would say about the game is that it did have there was a little bit of a delay between the menus which i didn't like mm. uh, it was like a five second delay every mm. time you would hit start or choose one of the options uh and it would basically just be like the screen froze you couldn't see any movement it wouldn't tell you it was loading anything and when i'm playing on xbox that scares me a little bit yeah because sometimes it's just really a frozen xbox so <laughs> right it's a bad so I guess for I would hope that that's something that they can fix out in like an update or yeah. patch through because it just I didn't like I don't like it whenever the game pauses and you don't know what's going on. So but I would recommend checking it out if you like those kind of twin stick shooters. Uh, it's an I haven't seen one in a while. It's been a while since we've had those floating around. So awesome. So there you go. That's it. All right. Cool. XBLA. Sure. <laughs> sure. You sound so excited about XBLA. I don't even care. Screw you, XP. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, Apples to Apples is a well-known party game, uh, card-based party game. In case you don't know what the game is like. Do you guys know what the game is like? I do. I don't. I own it. Sean, let me explain this to you. See, Sean works with me here for good radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is either. <laughs> <laughs> so basically... I, could you we actually back up? What is a card game? Oh... So the way Apples to Apples works is generally in the real card game is that, you know, everybody draws these cards and then one person 
draws like a category card and so then everybody has to choose from their their the cards in their hands that all have words on them uh like people and places mm-hmm. and things and mm-hmm. stuff like that they have to choose which one they think fits that category uh, and then they give all their cards to the person who drew the category card and then that person chooses you know basically what they think best epitomizes that word mm-hmm. so for example yeah so i was very in- that i i assume works the same way in multiplayer i didn't get to play multiplayer on the demo but uh, there is a single player, and I'm like, how? <laughs> how is the single player going to work on a game that is contingent on uh, basically subjective values? Right. Uh, and so it took the computer's me a- just always like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like that at one point you. until I figured out what was going on. So basically, you go through these different stages, and you have ten cards that you have to basically win at mm-hmm. or something. Uh, and each stage has its own apple and they're like themed like ballerina apple and, you know, mm. football player apple. Okay. And it didn't dawn on me at, for until later, but, uh, cause I got through the first couple levels just because there was the most salient sort of choice. Like, uh, basically you get, you get the category card and then there's like four cards on the side with nouns on them and right. you have to choose one of them. And what you need to do is you need to choose which one you think the type of apple will do. And right. so mm. by the time I figured it out, I was on like football guy apple. And so, I'm, you know, the card was boring. And I'm like, oh, I guess that's Socrates for this guy. And I was correct. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, right. you know, I don't – it wasn't really a very thrilling single player experience, yeah. to be perfectly honest. It was kind of goofy. Um, and, and really, I, I'm surprised – I mean, I I guess I understand why they put a single player on there, but really the fun of the game is, you know, shitting with your friends and being like, oh, well, this one totally sucks. And they'll be like, hey, I I think that's... And then they'll, you know, try to convince you otherwise and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's it's the communication that's the fun aspect. And so then to transform it into this weird single player, (laughs) guess who? (laughs) Yeah, and I also wonder on a multiplayer aspect how... I've heard not good things about the game, um, but I, I also wonder in a multiplayer aspect how you play it because... Part yeah. of the reason is not it's like a secretive kind of thing of who turned in what card. Right, right. And so, you know, you're then lobbying for a card, but not necessarily giving away who it is. And yeah, well, you know, it depends playing, on how you want to play it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I've played it, it's been playing to the judge. So yeah. when the judge reads right. the, the word, it's like you're offering up whatever you think they would. Exactly. With exactly. It. So I don't know how that would work in a in a multiplayer, like in the same room. Yeah. Because you're going to see who everybody I understand why they wanted to put it on the Xbox because it's a very <laughs> popular game. Like, it's an extremely popular right. yeah. card game, right. but, but it's just not something that I think translates very yeah, I agree. well. I don't know. It's not like trivia or anything like that mm-hmm. that you can just... The the gallery shots for it just confused me, and I haven't... Because I haven't played the game before. <laughs> right. And so I'm, like, looking at them. I'm like, like, there's I, all this reading. I'm not downloading any of this, <laughs> even though it's one thing. But I was like, I no, not that page either. <laughs> Excellent. It makes me just want to play the game, though. That sounds fun. Uh, the, other, the card game? Yeah. We should play some. The card right? game is very fun, actually. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Do you know uh, how to read? I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we're in. Let's do it sometime. Yes. <laughs> I can help you with the cards. The other, the other XBLA Cheater. game I got to play was uh, Joe Danger Say. Um, Special editions. <laughs> so apparently this is an update of a previous version of Joe Danger. It is... was out, uh, I believe, almost a year ago now. I think. I don't remember. Uh, PSN. It was okay, a PSN. Game, okay, yeah. yeah, I knew it wasn't an Xbox sort of deal, but uh, basically, you're a stuntman, mm-hmm. uh, motorcycle rider, and so it scrolls to the side, and you have to try and use your boosts and jumps and flips in order to, uh, you know, get a high score and grab as many of the little diamond icons as you can and hit letters. And uh, it's it's a very fun platformy. It's kind of a nice blend between like platforming and those sort of um, challenge games, kind of like um, Trials HD. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a cartoony Trials HD. HD is what it is. Yeah, it's not nearly as nerve wracking as Trials no. HD because whereas Trials HD is is more on that perfect run, yep. you can have a perfect run in in Joe Danger, but really it's kind of, it's got enough other things that you could be happy with that. I think what works through. for it is that there's a lot of different objectives in yes. some of those levels where a, you know there's, there's one that had like ten objectives. Exactly. I'm like, so what the fuck? it's completing in a certain amount of time. It's getting a score. It's yeah. getting these stars. It's collecting um, letters on letters, some of them, yeah. and it's like 
there's tons of like I mean some of them are almost like puzzle levels where there's these hidden areas yeah, that you can get are. to. Yeah. And so cuz you go over and some of them you go over these little bumpers mm-hmm. and it lets you kind of float uh where you use the right stick to move the opposite way or right. the the left trigger I guess is yeah, what it was. Yeah, the yeah, cuz left trigger is reverse, right yeah. trigger is forward and you can use that in the air as well. So, so. you're almost maneuvering you got around Mario like jumping a, ability. <laughs> that's awesome. You're almost maneuvering around like a you know like yeah. a puzzle kind of area and yeah, trying to exactly. find hidden areas but you're on a linear track so it's kind of like odd at odds yeah. with itself in that way which is kind of make what makes it awesome yeah um but I, but like you said and you don't have to get them all in one go no you know and so i like that there's multiple objectives so you can like oh i can come back and do this later when i get better at the game right, or know right. what i'm doing so yeah. i really like that aspect of yeah. it and the they have the i didn't try out the labs but mm-hmm. from the videos that they showed i was assuming that was a little more like trials hd where it was a little more hardcore crazier through stuff. The, the obstacle course and those are, that is the addition to the special edition i think mm-hmm. is pretty much just that and is you, that labs part and you can create your own levels and yeah. share them i believe yeah i don't remember that i don't know for sure was there multiplayer because I, so I know there's races there's yeah races. there are and i think it's i i don't know if it's local or it should be online too right i, I, would I guess don't know. so i'm terrible yeah i don't remember well n- most of that was locked in the demo yeah. anyway so that's why that's why i have a hazy memory of it uh <laughs> Because uh, I didn't actually get to play that stuff, but I but it did describe it. And you did so many opiates that you can't even. <laughs> that is correct. I <laughs> you and your I got fiscal. <laughs> I um, got fiscal. You ate a pie. I ate a pie. And then fought, fought a bunch That's of That's always my downfall. <laughs> Damn pies! I can't resist them. Eating a pie. And they are always laced. So um, you know, it also reminds me a little bit of uh, Excite Bike. Yeah, yeah, a little old bit school Excite too. Bike yeah. because of the way that it has the different lanes. Yeah, uh, and that was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It's very yeah, I, I like it a lot. It is twelve hundred twelve hundred points, so it's fifteen bucks. Um, Combine those in my head. I think that it's and worth it. I just haven't done anything with it yet because, like we talked about before, there's so many games that I haven't completed as it is. Mm. Uh, I don't need to stack on top of that. But sure. I would. I think I would is something I would like to play yeah. for sure. I want to check it out definitely. I didn't know. What I think I'd... you would dig it. Well, the There's Avatar awards for it are awesome too. <laughs> okay. That's right. You can get the whole Joel Danger yeah. outfit. Yeah. <laughs> In three separate parts. Uh, You're in. That would make me play it, though. Pants, jacket, helmet. Oh, I just want the jacket. <laughs> and then they I have a. The they actually made a video for that stuff, uh, like awesome. to advertise it. That's and then, awesome. and then, so they they equip a dude with all the stuff, and then they play like pretty much every game that you can play as your avatar <laughs> in that Joe Danger outfit. <laughs> That's awesome. Like indie games and XBLA they... games, and it was hilarious. Was the title at any point did it reference Shonix? <laughs> was it like, hey, Sean, look. No, I don't know. But there's like Avatar it sounds Ninja. like it's made for him. Joe Danger was running across the water. That's awesome. It's targeted at him yeah, directly. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yeah. It's sad, but true. Uh, yeah, Unbound was... Saga. I bought the game just for the... Well, the comics? It was only two bucks, so... Yeah, yeah but true. the comics and the t-shirt... So. <laughs> So yeah, check it out. I mean, everybody should look at it. Um, it looks really cute, and it's a lot of fun, and mm-hmm. I'm going to play around with it some more. Cool. Do and it. probably purchase it over the break that we take. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at it. Yay. I did buy a bunch of DLC, but I didn't get to play any of it, because it all came out this week. What'd you buy? Oh, all Gunstringer the... had DLC. Um, yeah, that's the problem. Orcs Must Die it was also had quick. DLC. There was a holiday pack for a... Uh, the Fruit Ninja. Oh, <laughs> it was free. It's free. Just, you should get it. I gotta get on that. It's like a snow globe thing. <laughs> snow globe shadow and like candy cane streaks for your hands. Oh, man. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think my arms are healed. I'm back in working order. I can get can my chop chop. feel like Christmas. I can get my but anyway, so I'll, I'll get on those uh, eventually. Did you pick up the Bastion one? The Bastion one okay. as well. Yes. Yeah. For a dollar? Yeah, for a dollar. That they had to charge? Yeah. Uh, they didn't want to? No. Microsoft made them. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I got a lot of DLC. I'll try to catch up on that. Cool. Later. <laughs> I was going to say over the break, and I'm like, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen, but <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but we got some DLC. Yes. Some Pinball FX2 DLC. Yeah. Vengeance and Virtue. 800 Sean, oh, points. Sean, come back to us. $10. He is, you can't see this at home, but he has gone all glassy-eyed. Four. <laughs> That's what happens when I play that game. Yeah, exactly. My eyes burn. Summer was like ants in the mouth because my mouth was just like... <laughs> Nobody can see that at home. I was just going to town. She was just Open. like, "Are you all right?" And I didn't even say anything. <laughs> You're like, "Shut up!" <laughs> and then she was walking Quiet. up to, like, up to me. And she, she wasn't in front of the TV. 
at all. Yeah. Like, at all. And I'm starting to move. <laughs> He's leaning to the side here. And I'm like, my peripheral. You can't be in my peripherals. I need those. Stop. <laughs> just leave me alone. I need to have the screen just in right Go here. away. Yeah. It was awesome. That's not very nice. I, I didn't say go away. So, Avengers and Virtue Pack, four new tables. Um, we got Thor, we got X-Men, we got yep. Moon Knight, and I like Ghost Thor. Rider. I like X-Men. Those are the only two? I'm saying it's comic books, so that was, a, that was oh, yeah, awesome. Yeah. And then, mean, like yeah. in real life. In, in real life, I like them. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the X-Men table, I'm not a big fan of. You are an idiot. It is the best. <sighs> <laughs> why, why Why are you not a big fan of it? Is I just, it because there's too much going on? I'm just not a... Like, it's... There's a couple ramps that... I just can't figure it out too much. I can't, oh, okay. I can't figure it out. And it just seems like some of the... Some of them... And Magneto throws a ball at me a lot. And I get mad at him because it goes right down the center. And I can't freaking do anything about it. So I try tilting. Yeah. But that's not working either. He Yeah, because he does freeze a ball and then usually sends it to the left or right. But usually. once in a while, he'll send it straight down. And that's a bunch of horse shit. Yeah. I think we were talking about that on our forums. Oh, and yeah. that's a bunch of horse shit. I was like, know. that one kind of, that one really kind of soured the table for me. I've yeah. gone back and played a little bit more on it. And I've enjoyed some of it. Uh-huh. Um, Ghost Rider, I like. I just like the visuals. It's up there with Blade with me. It has yeah, that. It really, kind of has that feel. has that really like pinball feel. Um, I have some issues with Ghost Rider. It's really repetitive audio wise. Um, so I've I, been running into that. I do like when Mephisto is like cheater or something. Somebody's a cheater. <laughs> I love that. Part. But the Mephisto <laughs> from he sounds like the he sounds like Satan from South Park. <laughs> and so I have a hard time taking anything he says serious I because was he, to that's who his, he sounds I like. I'm trying to pinpoint his voice because I kind of hey guys yeah that's exactly cheater what it is. cheater <laughs> way to go Butterfingers. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I know it's a terrible awesome. South Park uh, Satan impression, but that's that's it's what close. he sounds like. So listen to that, no. and that's what you'll hear. And then try to take it serious when he's yelling at you. Yeah, hey guys, do this. <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you sound like an idiot. The, the, but I like it. I like it's, yeah. it's, it. There's a lot going on with it. The Moon Knight, uh, I think the table is. It reminds me a lot of the paranormal mm -hmm. table in the just a lot of the things going on on it and having like it's a crazy table. I don't know what's going on on that Moon Knight table. Like yeah. I, that's I haven't learned that one yet yeah. at all. That and Thor are probably my least played. <sighs> I, I started on X Men. I've done a ton of X Men. I moved on to Ghost Rider, and mm -hmm. now I, I I think I'm still trying to beat scores. I try to get the high score and then move, move on, on to the next table. Yeah. So I'm working on Ghost Rider, but I need to look at Moon Knight because I don't understand what's going on. At some point, I was buying stocks. Yeah. The stock market was going. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? There's like so many different like multiple fights that you can do. You in got that. fiscal. Yeah. I did get fiscal. You in got that. fiscal up in that piece. It was like it was like the stock market was going, and you had to like put a ball somewhere so you could make dividends. I'm like, what is happening? Like, is it the Monopoly table all of a sudden? I don't they even really know what's happening. They really use his alter ego in exactly. That book. Yeah, and that I mean that that. And I don't game. like his little buddy. The, oh, the evil dude, the that crawly out, yeah guy. Who, Is that his name? Who reminds you? He reminds me of the guy from Dark Siders that hung up exactly. around your shoulder because he sounds like Mark Hamill doing yeah, the voice. He does, and I'm like, he sounds like the Joker. But you're right; it's the, because Mark Hamill did that voice in that game, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. And that's who he is. He's yeah. that guy. Yeah. And God he, damn it! It's like he's all. <laughs> Thank like, you. Who are we gonna kill today, or who are we gonna beat up today? I'm like, shut up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's <laughs> you why are annoying. I, I turn a lot of stuff down and play music. While yeah, I that play. I do too. Because it seems that a lot of the tables this time around are a lot more vocal than some of the ta tables of old. And uh, the, I, maybe I'm just noticing it, but it just feels... That might be feels, it, because I find that they all are. Okay, it just feels... Maybe it's just more annoying to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I... They're four awesome tables. The I Thor had a table lot of like? fun with Thor. Um, I just think... There's a couple of little hidden little spots in there that I think are really neat. And I like fighting Loki. And I like... All, I mean, it's just... Just what they put into that, and just I, I like I, I think I have that one under control a little bit, and going to Asgard. I and, think the Thor one is the easy, the simplest one out yeah. of all four of them. Uh, like the least amount of things going on, yeah. and the least amount of uh, paths to try and fo figure out how to yeah. follow and get to. Uh, so I think that that probably helps out. Yeah, you know, there's not as much going on. I want to jump back to the X Men real quick yeah, because yeah. I love that table more. Than, I think that table's brilliant. I think it's interesting. I think they. They have so many characters shoved into that table, and they all have their own little paths. Yep. And I think that is brilliant in the way that, like, you 
are build, building the team essentially. So by completing their little objectives and their missions, you're completing the team, and mm-hmm. their and their their names are all listed in the middle, and they kind of light up as you get them or complete their objective or get them on the team. And there's multiple ways. Whereas like you can activate Cerebro and then have Professor X basically find them. And so going through this you know loop a certain amount of yeah. times will open that up, and then you just automatically get them if you go their path. Or if you go their path like three times, it activates them and you do their little mini game and like, then you can go do their thing and then you collect them that way. And I just think it's awesome that every character has their own little path. And so you can like just totally see them like the characterization that comes through on the board to me is amazing. Yeah. And the I way agree. that like they charge up the ball and it's bright red and then all of a sudden the ball is Cyclops. Yep. Or and then there's the Phoenix. Phoenix, Jean yeah. Grey, and it's on fire. That's pretty and so sweet. there's a mode that you're basically battling Magneto and you have two balls that are out there. One is bright red like with uh his i beam yeah like power and then the other one's on fire like it's the phoenix and so basically the b- balls are characters now and yeah. it's like i think it's amazingly done that you're telling a story through a pinball game and what what i've it's got smart is uh so if you lose a cyclops ball because i've noticed this if i lose cyclops ball i get an automatic ball usually most of the time that just pops another one out mm-hmm. it's just phoenix that if i lose her then she's off then it's done mm-hmm and well, I should, like because Jean Grey stays dead. Well, <laughs> she should come back every time. But I, I think I like that about it. It's yeah. like because there's some, some of that. That's where I'd get into those, and I would hit it right up at Magneto, and he would just hold on to it and just yeah. shoot it, and I'm like, ah, and I'd lose out. But I, I like that aspect to the game. Um, there's one little part of because you mentioned Cyclops, and it totally remind, mm-hmm. reminded me of something. Right on the on the on on the table itself, there's a. I, I don't know if they meant to do this, but right on Cyclops' crotch is Wolverine's face, and it's like says free ball or save ball. No, it says free ball. It's it's oh, when, okay. So when you light up your save yeah, ball, yeah. it says free ball, but it's totally right on like or a little bit below Cyclops' crotch. I did not notice and that. And it's Wolverine's face. I did not notice that. But I, I love that. I will say what I like about this table and I was worried about it was there's no overabundance of Wolverine. No, there isn't. You hardly ever hear yep. him. And and with him having his own table, I was like, oh, I don't need another X Men table. That's really just Wolverine all over the place, yeah. and it's not at all. And I love that. And I well, everything's kind of a... another X Men table. Yeah. <laughs> You're collecting these. <laughs> it's well because they have the Wolverine table, yeah. right? Right. So... It, it's like they uh, attached most of the stuff to like there were all the the ball saves or the kickbacks, and it's all like reach. I've got reach. Exactly. I, I thought they're that was, smart. It's really it's 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 a really neat table. I just need to get past my frustration with it because there's a couple ramps in the back. I don't know how to. Use use or get to I'm f- I, maybe i'll come over and coach you which it's it's not gonna work <laughs> trust me i just need to keep playing and playing and playing exactly and playing and playing exactly and i think what they've really gotten to a strong point and maybe why i like these marvel tables so much is that i do feel like they're able to tell a story with a pinball table yeah. which is amazing to me yeah like i think that's really awesomely done and they've i think i think they've really kicked up ever since the first four and yeah because you got the you know the I, although i love spider-man yeah i know Spider-Man. And that's why you love the x-men because they just those two tables just <laughs> annoy the shit out of me and do they use the x-men cartoon music in that table they might i haven't there's heard. at one point because i wasn't listening to music that's a great all the, car- all the cartoons use that there's one. It's it's re- it's not. I don't think it's the song, but it's re- as close as they can be without being sued. Probably is my guess. <laughs> well, because it's really close. Even most of the cartoons that have come out yeah. have used that like, in a way. In a way, it sounds like it. Even the movie had that same type, of, but it was more. Yeah. So this one, it, it when you activate like the thing where you're uh, do the cerebro and you're looking for a mutant, mm-hmm. and Professor X is having you find somebody. It, the music it plays, I'm pretty sure, is yeah. spot on to that music, which is awesome. So. I I thought I it just really good round of tables. Cool. That Moon Knight I really liked. I don't and, know why. I just because it's I think it's just easy to play and fun. And they're steel because I don't think you can buy them separate. I think you have to buy the pack. Mm. So it is eight hundred points, but that's two bucks a ta- or two fifty a table yeah. instead of the three dollars or whatever. So you're saving two dollars that way too. So yeah, they're and all, they're all good. So they're, they're a lot of fun. Do it. Yeah, I love that. Highly recommended. I don't know if you guys are heard or not, but I love that pinball game. <laughs> I'm just glad something took it away from Skyrim for a little bit. That is correct. I'm not even talking about Skyrim this time. Yeah. Because I got nothing... your fucking controllers, though. <laughs> what, the pinball? God. Eater, eater, eater. I it's am using. Neck controls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> paddle, 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 paddle. <laughs> I'm using an old controller. I went out. Oh, you mean like this? Yes. Hand wise? Yes, with nah, the hand. I would want to do it, boys. <laughs> Tilt. <laughs> left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Shit. Left, right. Hold, 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 hold. Both, left, both, right. Both. Left, both, 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 both. both. 
<laughs> That'd be awesome. It just turns off. Yeah, it's like, never mind. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> we can't do this. Um, I went out and bought a new controller finally because I've broken two controllers. One because of pinball and the other one because, because of Gatlin of Gears. <laughs> oh. Because I was, you know, constantly moving both sticks. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so now on both controllers, both sticks stick at sometimes. Just... And then on one of them, the, con- the triggers are completely busted. So I've got out my old controller now when I'm playing the new pinball tables. And that thing is going to just rip apart in my hand someday. <laughs> so like when blo- I'm, I'm holding implode. it and it almost feels like it's coming apart, like <laughs> splitting. Because I think I squeeze so hard on the triggers. I, I probably still have indentations on my fingers right now, actually. It's, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> when but, you sit and play for four hours. But it's hours. awesome. It is. Yeah. All right. Is it for XBLA, right? Yep. That's it. Although that was technically our DLC section. It is. That's correct. <laughs> it's still on the XBLA, though. <laughs> That's right. Disc games. What we got? Just WWE? Because I'm not going to talk about Skyrim because nobody wants to fucking hear that. <laughs> I'm still running around and doing shit. <laughs> still not completing the game. They got the new patch. They did, and I haven't played it yet because I've been only playing pinball. But um, I, y- That's awesome. I talked last episode, and for those that don't go on the forums, um, I talked la- last episode about not getting the patch, and I was going to play without the patch. Right. Uh, I Patchless. did. I had to p- get the patch um, because while we were recording that episode... By the way, we're talking about Patch Adams, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Completely. Just want to make sure. Um, as the clown. When uh, we were talking about on the last episode, ironically... <laughs> I'd like to think at the same time, as I was mentioning it, my wife at home decided that she would play Fable 3, unbeknownst to her, uh, that that would cause my whatever, because they changed the cache system so now that it gets rid of so many patches, and Mm -hmm. so she had to do an update for Fable 3, which backed out my Skyrim patch, so when I went home, for my day one patch, so when I went home, I had to do the update or not be able to play, because... My save was from the day one patch, and it wasn't compatible with the non-day one patch system that I was now on. Uh, right. Uh. So I had to do the patch. Uh, I ran into some freezing after that, but not really any of the big game-breaking issues. That's and good. then now a new one's out this week that is supposed to fix all the things that got broke on the other one, but still not fixing a lot of the shit that they need to, mm. um, like missions that won't give you achievements and things like that, mm. which that's is a, awesome. That's a big game. <laughs> it's, it's oh huge. They game. had to figure it something when they're doing code. I don't know how you make games. <laughs> forget something like you know achievements. You type stuff in. Being able to complete I'm, missions. It's all numbers. And being able to get rid of stuff. things in your inventory that you can't turn in, like I have now. That's <laughs> that's really my I, only complaint I have in the game right now is that I have objects in my inventory that I cannot get rid of because they say I need them for a mission that I never got, mm-hmm. or even if I got and went and returned it to that person. It never got rid of it in my inventory, mm-hmm. so it's basically stuck there, uh-huh. taking up space, which is annoying. I read something online that uh, is supposing that a lot of these problems probably didn't show up as much in game testing because they, because Skyrim is a is an open world mm-hmm. and it runs pretty much everything at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it it has to work so much on memory yeah. and so then you start getting long gameplay and so then it keeps stacking up the amount of things that it has to remember because bodies stay in the same place right most of them do yeah and so i mean it's <laughs> if rem- you heard from the pax chronicles it's from yeah. it's that re- body still there. it's remembering yeah. a ton of stuff and so i think i think the supposition was that that then uh puts a crunch on any new things that are popping up and, right and yeah anyway. well and and you can play test it thousands of hours right you're never going to play it the exact same way as Some, another person. Yeah. Right. Nobody's yeah. ever going to play this game the same way, which is what makes it great, but what makes problems near impossible. You're saying there fine. wasn't a play tester who fell into a mountain and then <laughs> jumped his way back out? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably, but they're probably not the same mountain. <laughs> In the same exact spot. So. They fixed that one mountain. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they forgot the other, oh, I don't know, 8,000. <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot going on. I, I'll, I'm gonna probably, I'm probably, you know, I'm probably gonna play that game some more. Uh, so <laughs> no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the patch. I don't even fucking care anymore. Whatever, <laughs> just move on. I mean, if I'm playing other games, the cache system's gonna auto update it anyway, and I'm not gonna be able to play anymore if I don't do it. Uh, yeah. Right? So yeah. whatever. So WWE, WWE, you're gonna wrestle your cares away. <laughs> One, two, three, twelve, twelve. Yeah, <laughs> not three. Took me a while. So to what's rent your wrestler it. names? Took me a while to rent it, but I got it. 
end? I liked it until I started actually playing it. All right, explain yourself on <laughs> okay. that. So we like the character creation. The exactly. character creation, the <laughs> customization of this game is really, really cool. It's crazy. I, uh, you know, even if... Like if I had time and wanted to rent this a little bit longer, they have a create your own. I could design T-shirts. I could put whatever I want on them, mm -hmm. which I think is really cool. And I would need a, like someone that knew how to crochet or stitch or something because that's how you would have to. Because it's all you know, all grid stuff, and yeah. I would just that stuff drives me nuts because I just want to. You draw. need a pattern on there. Uh, yeah, I just want to draw. If you give me a pattern, I'll fill in the blanks. But other than that, I'm going to try to draw it myself. So that stuff didn't work, but uh, just from. The entries, um, yeah. which I thought was fantastic that you could go and do, you know, you had your regular settings, but you go in advanced settings and you could do every tier of it, which I thought was <laughs> which really... Which is a little much. Which I was really... You could switch up and have four different enter entries of four different characters doing different things at different points, which I thought was great. Um, they even had, you know, you could do a custom video that shows on the back screen of you beating up other people, which I thought, <laughs> again, I thought, hey, this is awesome. And then it was like, okay, well, when you come out, the announcer, want, what do you want him to say? And I'm like, I want him to say the Sean and X. And sure enough, the Sean X. And I'm like, hey, that's me. <laughs> you know, and I How really... How does it know to pronounce Sean? You just did S-E-A-N? No, there's a Sean in the list of names to say out, oh, which nice. I thought was fantastic. They have a ton of things, you know, from dork to I, they might not have dork but i think they do <laughs> but like from they have all these different names or you know hero or yeah, you yeah. know villain and all this stuff but when i got to that i'm like the sean x and then i come out and he's the sean x, x. yeah and it actually like it sounds really kind of cool the sean dork and then my guy was a total wcw guy and he wore purple and green because he was a villain that's terrible awesome <laughs> and i would beat up people and so you're a marvel villain well, yeah. purple well, and green. Well, Joker. He's purple oh, and true. green. Just villain in general. Yeah. Like comic, Luther. A comic villain. It's purple and green. It's just all villains. Comic Who villain. are you talking right. to, man? Uh, but yeah, it was a dork. I know. The Sean Dork. I shut up. <laughs> but other than that, like. The after, Sean Dork. And so then it's like, I'm like, I want to play. So yeah. I got everything set up, and I'm like, I want to play. And then after I, you spent four and a half hours about, making stuff. Uh, nah, like four. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I overshot three you. hours and forty five minutes. I overshot because I got up and left. Five. I got up and left and had to find some reference material to because I was going to do some drawing. But anyway, oh, okay. Um, so like I got all that stuff set up and then you go into the. I wanted to do a season and I'm I'm so into the old SmackDown. I don't even know what what which one was it? SmackDown Raw two thousand nine. <laughs> I don't know what we used to play on PS two. Oh no, that was probably. 2006. Okay. Like, this that was a long, was a time, long ago. time ago. Um, so, like, we were doing this show in 2009. Like, that, they just they threw you in. I mean, your booker, the booker put you in the match. You yeah. were every week you were on that show. And this Booker T. Not, are they, don't they call him Bookers? I'm trying to use real words here. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> he was just trying to throw you off. I know, and it's working. But, uh, <laughs> we can put him back to sleep if you want. No. But, uh, <laughs> sleeper hold. But, so, like, they, they get, they get set you up, and at the very beginning, you go through, like, the regular show, and so you're, yeah. you're doing this, you, and then they have Raw, SmackDown, whatever. Heat? Uh, not Heat, some other. I don't know, because I don't watch anymore. Some weird. All stars, which is part of my problem. Yeah, it's like all stars, okay. and then and uh, anyway, so like I was like the very beginning of it, and then after WrestleMania, I wasn't on the card. I kept going through cards because I was on Raw. <laughs> so I play. was never on the Raw. I was never on the card. So what would you have to do? Load up the show and like have it happen, but then you weren't on there. They've yeah, had, you, they've you, had other versions of the game that does that. Yeah, yeah. where where it's realistic card. Setting and and I understand. Yeah, because you suck so hard or what? Well, they even had like that was the thing. There was a story a behind me. Like I came in You're and then jobber. a guy came in and helped me out, and I totally like turned heel on him and punked him out, and like was helping out tag team partners yeah. and doing all this stuff that you normally do. And then we get to WrestleMania, and I'm thinking, well, I'm not going to have a match. I'll just have some like three way, you know, triple threat. Yeah, nothing. So I'm like, okay. You weren't on the card for WrestleMania, so. and I. I didn't show up for like forever after. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to wrestle. You know, I wanted to go through like a season type thing yeah. and it just didn't work for me. Maybe I didn't have the settings right. I don't think so because I was there to begin with. Did you get caught with drugs? Uh, I might have. I was, I was like, my God, my character's pretty hardcore. You know, did you like, Jeff Hardy it? No. <laughs> he got picked, like arrested, so he got taken off. He's run, run around with like two by fours with barbed wire wrapped around him. <laughs> that might have been on the DLC that I haven't got yet. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know. Anyway, but still, I you know I was having fun. With you, so I, was that through the career thing that you were doing, or the whatever my WWE what, WWE Universe Universe? That's yeah, what it is. I can't remember. Which there I was thought, like a bunch of different play modes. So which I thought it was a cool setup because they also have like these special characters that show up. Yeah, and so I played a lot of those, like the mystery character, and that was usually like you know your character that you created or someone. Like demolition characters from demolition, <laughs> smash and axe. What? Yeah, that exactly. guy's coming out. Yeah, and like I was like, okay, and like at one time, Stone Cold just came out of nowhere, and I'm like, okay, so like they're throwing in all stars yeah, into yeah. it, which I thought was also neat, but at the same time, I don't care because I spent you know four hours putting together a guy that I can't even wrestle. So, so but earlier when you said <clears throat> you liked it until you played it, are you ta- you're not talking about the gameplay itself? You're talking about just well, the, the and- way that. You- and then you're not always playing. And then into gameplay, um, the wrestling it, it's a little bit easy. I had a little bit easier time with it. Yeah. But I found myself just just mashing B a lot because that was like the heavy, like a, a more heavy grapple yeah. instead of just the the melee. And mm-hmm. the melee, you it seems like you would get hit. And there's some quick time stuff in as they're punching you. You can dodge it and grab them and do reversals and things like that. If the X shows up above you or the L. LB right trigger or R, yeah RT yeah. so that shows up above your guy if you hit that in time then you can do like a reversal my problem is when I get to these kind of games I spam so hard yeah because I don't know what I'm doing yeah so I'm like spamming all the time and then they like give me an RT like for I don't know 0.3 of a second yeah and then I'm like oh, I'm hitting like 100 times and it doesn't register right so I, I can't ever reverse anything on there I was having some problems with the controls they seem pretty simplified um down to you know a a grapple um which the grapple was contextual based on like how you know injured the opponent was so i like that that it wasn't necessarily um the same thing all the time that it did change depending on your position and their position but it also wasn't because i remember back in those old smackdown versus raw days where it was you know you could do a heavy or a light and if you went up or down or left or right it was a different move and it was pretty much the same all the time until you got up to your finisher yeah uh this one it seemed like it was actually building on itself like it was they started pretty low key like where you would do like an arm bar or something like that or you know bear hug yeah. them but then like eventually the, that same kind of grapple would be now doing a suplex or you know throwing them around or whatever and you can push so i like that you can push up yeah, and you, you did have those options you, you can still do those i like how it, it, you know the the finisher part was really easy too like that, you I could like do that. a custom well the fin yeah and you can do well you can do a custom finisher and i thought that was really simple to create mm-hmm. which i liked about it and then you can assign the buttons like you could either use like if you did left, right, up or down, mm-hmm. and then Y, then you're you did that one finisher, and if you did the other, then you know you just hit Y. And I I thought that was yeah. really easy. The icons popped up because that was another thing was a little bit jarring. There's no, um, there's really no uh, like HUD. There's nothing showing you, you what you're right. what you're doing I or like if you're that, hurting. Actually. And I think that and at first I was a little put off by it, mm-hmm. but then after a while of the gameplay. I just didn't even, you you could tell, because after you, you know, got beat up a couple times, you could tell, and then, you know, once you start, you know, hitting them and having fun, I... I like that there were no meters, because it made me not focus on the meters, because a lot of times when I play those kind of games where you have to build up, like, your special, yeah, and I'm worried about, like, that meter, and now I'm not worried about it, it's just waiting for the thing to pop up on, underneath, you know, my finisher will pop up on the screen, and I'll know to hit the wire button or whatever, it'll trigger me to do that. So I like not being so focused on, like, a bar. Yeah. And, like, actually being focused on the action in the ring and telling from how people looked what they were, how they were being affected. Yeah. I thought that was a really smart design choice. I think at the very beginning, I had a hard time, like, playing and getting it. And once you start playing it, then that's why I was saying it. It's just until I started playing it, I was a little put off, and I almost gave up on it. But then I started playing some more, and it's it's entertaining. Um, but at the end, it's just like I want my character... I want to go through a season. I like that yeah. part about SmackDown back in the day. I See, like going through all that and in my deciding, pl- you know, choosing sides and having yeah. fun like that. My play with it was a little more limited um, because I mainly did the road to WrestleMania, which I was very unimpressed with. Yeah. Um, and that's that white guy. <laughs> that Seamus. Oh, my Lord. He's he, white. Well, part of my other problem is that I don't... I'm like a lapsed wrestling fan yeah so like i watched when i was a kid i stopped i watched you know when i was a little older and it's been a number of years now since i've watched and if you don't watch for like three weeks all of a sudden everybody's different yeah and so the roster i have no idea who half over half of these people are like i don't know i don't want to know exactly (laughs) so i have also no contextual knowledge to it so it was a little harder to get into it 
Um, and the people I do know that I remember that are still around, I hate most of them. So, you know, I don't really want to play as The Undertaker. Sure. So yeah. Road to WrestleMania, while I, I, that's what I wanted to do because I wanted to jump in where I was in the middle of a storyline and kind of like doing things. Yeah. And, and I like the idea that that storyline is you're doing key things. You have objectives. Okay, you got to run down and beat up John Cena. At the beginning, the first thing you do is beat up John Cena, um, like interrupt him, beat him up, and then get him up here and do a move on the, the ramp with him or whatever yeah. and knock him out. And that advances the story, which I liked. But you don't get to choose who you want to play. It yeah. is forcing you to play specific characters. And so I kind of want that element where it's the more like those kind of exciting elements sure. and fun elements of story. But I want to play it with a guy who I pick. Like and, I want to do it with Christian. See, for that, instance. Well, that's the thing. When you play in the WWE universe and you they go to a match, you get to choose who you play. Mm -hmm. So regardless, you're going to pick whoever you, who you want to. Right. So like I found myself... There was one time I just picked a guy and then I left the room. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not like it got me anywhere, but I didn't want that guy to win because right. I didn't like him. But <laughs> I wanted to lose. see him beat. So, and that's what happened. And uh, I mean, in the end, it's I, all about the customization, in my opinion. Yeah. And so, if you want to make a character and make all that stuff, I mean, there's so much yeah. stuff in there. And if you want to take that character, obviously, I don't know what you had issues with when you were trying to go through your character career um where it took you off the card but yeah um i like the idea of taking a character through there so yeah. i mean especially somebody you can build and customize too i one other problem i have with this game and it's continual with all of these wrestling games and i can't figure out how they can't get it right still why is the voice acting so terrible i don't know and and these people, I know they're they're actors, quote unquote actors. Yeah. So they come out they're and entertainers. They, I, they are entertainers. Yes. That's probably a more accurate description. <laughs> um, so they come out and and they can at least pull off saying things most of the time. But in these games, everything comes out so flat and dead, and like they're in a can. Yeah. And I don't understand it because they come out and yell on the mic all, every night. Mm -hmm. They yell on the mic. So why do they get in these games and they get in the studio and they're like? You want to know what the problem is? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, no you got to come out and yell because then when they put it in the game and they got crowd noise, it doesn't sound like you're just standing there yeah. going, I got a real problem with you. <laughs> and you just, I mean, it, there's no impact to it sure, whatsoever. Yeah, and I, I don't agree. know why they can't get it right. Yeah. I don't understand it. Have them come into a fucking studio and yell. Yeah. Because it's a studio and it's a small room as opposed to standing in the middle of a giant arena. And but yelling. they can't fake it? It's a, different dynamic they fake it every time but they can't fake it and like make it sound better than that mm. i don't know it just seems like i don't understand why at this point when they can like advance so much in every other area they probably only got one take with each person <laughs> maybe <laughs> but why can't they get the I audio surprise why can't they get the audio elements advanced you sure. know to catch up with the graphic and the gameplay and I the graphics else. were pretty sharp yeah. and I, everything was really smooth looking. I, I thought the i thought the the ring all the stuff that happened inside outside it seemed like that it kind of took a little bit back seat everybody <laughs> looks really I, scary i mean that's <laughs> yeah they the look, people yeah yeah they the look crowd. really weird yeah. like like pink floyd the wall <laughs> sausage face people <laughs> weird looking and uh yeah but i i don't know i had fun i had fun with the whole just set you like creating out. things so, oh yeah i mean so that works for you and that, that to me sometimes is too much of a hole yeah so i didn't even get into that area because i will sink into it yeah. so i didn't didn't want to do that yeah too cool. bad it was fun though all right Anything else? Are we all good, gents? That's it. That it for the year? That's it. All right. Programming wow. note then for everybody. Our next episode, um, we will, we're will. we taking a break, but you won't feel it at all. <laughs> I promise. You won't feel anything. Unless you Trust. call me up, you'll feel Just it. Just close your eyes. You close your eyes. You won't feel anything. You won't feel anything at all. <laughs> oh, that except whisper in my ear was creepy. Except joy. <laughs> You feel joy uh, for the holidays. We are taking a break, but we will have another episode in two weeks, um, and that will be uh, episode eighty-four, and it will be us taking a look at our favorites of two thousand eleven, as well as some input from you, some of you, maybe even that are listening to this now. No, so Probably tune in. Not allowing it, if you send it, then we're going to talk about it. Tune so. into my Twitter when I'm going to spoil everything next week. <laughs> He's going to <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll also be looking at our anticipated games of 2012 in that episode. So yes. we're going to try and get through that beast, and we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, thanks, everybody, again for an yeah. awesome, another awesome year. Yes. We yes. appreciate everybody that supports us. Um, everybody who's contributed to help out our show yeah. in any way, um, whether it be from donating on the site, which we can't even give you enough thanks for, um, or to just 
talking to us on Twitter, talking to us on Facebook, talking to us on our forums, um, and spreading the word about the show. It's been amazing. Yeah. And you guys are a ton of awesome. Mm -hmm. I agreed. Craig doesn't feel any of that, but <laughs> I'm speaking for you guys. So I agree. I share in. <laughs> share in. All right. He, Craig agrees as well. Yes. <laughs> So thanks you to every thank you to everybody and we hope everybody has a great holiday. Um, you can find us online signedinpodcast dot com. There's our website with all of our links to our Twitter, our Facebook, um, our forums that we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. Email us at comments at signedinpodcast dot com. We'd love to hear from you. And I think that's it. Word. See you next year. See you next year, everybody. Copyright 2011.